as you have already seen from the title of the video that this video is going to be our highlights of 2023 trying to tell you that why this year was the best year of my life kind of video that I did last year for the first time and I really enjoyed it. The reason I enjoyed it because when I grow old, fat and ugly, I would look back at these videos and I would laugh and smile that what kind of crazy life I had in my youth. But this time this video is going to be a little bit different as I won't be alone to make this video. In fact, I'll have a helper. And my helper is going to be my wife. How did I come over here? I was doing dishes downstairs. Magic. Anyways, let's get back on the topic which starts from January 2023 now. Let me tell you that January 2023 didn't start it as good as we expected because I was in a car accident. Someone literally T-boned me in my electric vehicle. It's just a magnet for accidents. This is the third accident in the US alone. But this was a doozy because we were out of a car for a month. And we couldn't find a place to repair it. And when they did finally take it, it took a month to get it back. And it was an hour and a half away from our house. The whole thing was a pain. And the worst part was we had a share car for that month. Next time you think about getting in an accident, you're taking the bus. Well, no words over there. All I can say is that let's move to the next month of February, which was very good for us as I got my car back definitely in February and I got my very first bike. Hi. Dreams do come true. As you can see, I have finally purchased my very first bike. And not just any bike, it's a Harley Davidson 1250cc Sportster S2023. Good for him, but not good for my wallet. Who cares? After five years of manifestation, I finally got a bike, which I really love. Okay, but tell them the real story about how this went down. How did you actually come to buy the bike? What happened? That's a very funny story because I literally had no intentions of buying a bike. I used to go to Harley and other super bike stores just to look around for the bikes. And this one time I just randomly took her. I was like, hey, they are giving food. Can't say no to free food. So she said that it's free food. She will come join me. And when we went over there, she saw the bike standing. Though she didn't... <laughs> Though she... Sh Though she's what the fuck is wrong with you? Shh shh. Though she's <laughs> What are you trying to say? I'm trying to say that though she didn't like that bike. <laughs> Though she didn't like that bike, yet still, being a girl, she was jealous that other people were sitting on that bike and she was like, how about we pay the deposit and secure this bike and get this bike today? And that is how I got my Harley Davidson Sportster S 2023. Moving on to the next month of March, March brought us an other great news and that was that my application for green card was accepted stuck together forever yeah 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 anyways now the funny story is that before the green card even came we booked an international trip but it came right two days before our flights to the international trip which we took in april Whew. do you want to tell them where we went in april for a month the motherland pakistan <laughs> Pakistan was 30 day long trip from April into May, right? May. Yep. But it started with a banger. The first 10 days were the last 10 days of the holy month of Ramadan where she got to enjoy Ramadan for the first time ever in an Islamic country, which was a huge experience. And fasting in 100 degree heat, mind you. And eating a lot of food every single day. Tell them about all the chanas that you were having. Every day, every morning, those chanas were on point. Chef's kiss. She was in love with chanas. Her favorite dish is chana. She can eat that every single day. But right after the 10 days of Ramazan, there was something special. And that was our third wedding. <laughs> This was a small gathering, small function where it was just a private family function right after the Eid, right after the Ramazan. And it was fun. She got to get ready for third time again. Got to get all those gifts and food again. And play dress up. 
girl's favorite part too. Oh, we also had our song, our love song got done over ah, there. Ah, insert it here. Let them know. Let them see. Yeah, and uh, it was so cheap. The whole thingy was so cheap that if we would have got the photographer, wedding, the shoot and everything done over here, it would be 15, 20, 25, 30 times expensive in US as compared to what kind of deal we got over there in Pakistan. So for all those who want to get their wedding, go abroad, do a blasting wedding and come back to US. Now, right after our third wedding, we started our road trip, road trip to the Northern Pakistan. North of Pakistan is huge, humongous. We wanted to go on one side of the north of Pakistan, but that was closed due to some snowfall and it was closed since last two to three months. So we couldn't go over there. And instead of that, we went to the other route, other side of the northern Pakistan, where we visited Lahore, Khevda Mines, Islamabad, Atak, and uh, before reaching Hunza, where did we stop in between? Do you remember the name? Jagalod. Ah, Jagalod, and again. Where did you love the Chanas the most? Oh, my favorite of all the places. <laughs> of all the places, no shade to Multan, no R shade to anywhere else, but that was my favorite. A random Pathan restaurant in Jagalod, <laughs> yeah. and she is enjoying the Chanas. The most random place, hole in the wall, like. Her love with Chanas is way greater than her love for me. Anyways, right after Jagalod, we were traveling through the Karakaram Highway, which is Pakistan's most beautiful and most dangerous highway at the same time to reach Atabad Lake in Hunza, where we stayed at Luxus Hunza on Atabad Lake and that was the most beautiful hotel ever with the best views I can not even explain. Good morning from the Atabad Lake, Hunza, Pakistan. them what do you what do you thought about that place best views best food cheap so cheap oh my god if you like that here would be like a thousand dollars a night maybe more i don't know but just an amazing experience but see again that was pakistan and for pakistani amount that's very expensive, yeah, expensive for sure but for a dollar lady not mm -hmm. that expensive i guess that expensive. Want to go again? Yes, absolutely. I would do it again. I do it all over again. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The only reason she would do it again is for the chanas. I can't lie about that. <laughs> a girl's best friend, not diamonds, chanas. Now, after spending a night in Lexus Hunza Hotel, we went to see the most historic fort. What was the name of the fort? Ba Balted Fort. Hunza has a huge history, and the history is tied to two forts. Balted Fort, and what's the other one? Altid Fort. Altid Fort. Altid Fort is small, and it was closed, but Baltit is big and was open. So we went to the Baltit Fort. The tour guide was so good and amazing. Yeah. He gave us a perfect tour mm -hmm. and made the whole trip towards Hunza area the best. Yeah, and very good English too. They say the people in Hunza are like the most educated and literate people in the country. Yeah, the whole Pakistan. Uh -huh. The people of Hunza are very literate. And they live to like super, super old ages because everything is so healthy there and it's like fresh air, fresh water. Every Almost everyone is 90, 100 years. That's like I think an average. Yeah, super, super healthy and so different than like the people in Punjab who eat so much oil and ghee and like... Chanas. Chanas like me. Now, after enjoying our days in Hunza, we came down back to Jagalod so that we can feed her all the channels that you she know it. enjoyed from that Tirinani place. And then we went to the other side of north, which was the Sakardu area. Hoi, hoi, hoi. This is the beauty. Take to see the beautiful place I have ever seen. The name of that resort was, you know? Shangri-La. Shangri-La Resort. I have mm. never seen the views 
like that. Super, super cool. And we were so lucky that we got the best weather. Not too yeah. cold, not too rainy, nothing. Off season, so nobody was there. We were all by ourselves. Yes. <clears throat> that was perfect. Shangri-La Resort was, I think, my number one resort in Pakistan. If I would have to go over to there again, that's the place where I would like to stay again. Yeah. I have to agree. The food wasn't that great, but the views were unmatched. Now, though it was cool and fun, but it was haunted. Oh my God! Yeah. How about? Let me tell you a funny story about last night. Last night, round about 12 a.m., when everyone was asleep except my mom, someone knocked at the door of our cottage and said, like, knock, knock, and said, open the door. In Urdu, he, the boy said, "Kholo." My parents got so scared. My father wanted to go out, but my mom was stopping him. Long story short, that knock only happened once, and the voice only said "Kholo" once. Early in the morning, I went to complain to the Shangri-La people. But who the hell was knocking at our door? They checked the cameras, and one camera was right outside our house, and the camera showed that there was literally no one around that time. 10-15 minutes before 12, 10-15 minutes after 12, literally no one was there. But we heard a knock, very strong, solid knock, that my dad literally woke up, and a voice saying, "Open the door." It was dead. It was off season, so there was no neighbors around us staying at any of the other cottages. We don't know where that guy could have come from. So I don't know. I think it's a gin. So, a <laughs> ghost, a jinn, whatever. A guy? I don't think so. That was a guy. Uh -uh. If you want to see something beautiful, if you want to have some great food and have some haunted experience, Shangri-La Shangri Resort is it is. For you. <laughs> <laughs>
Never happy. These men, never happy. So unappreciative. Now, most of the people will think that we have already did so much fun and accomplished a lot. But no, because after August comes September. The birthday month. Not My just the birthday, birthday month. The birthday month. The birthday month. So we gotta do, I gotta do something for my birthday. And I did it. I went for my very first bike week in Ocean City, Maryland. I went there with my two buddies. And let me tell you, that was one of the best weeks of my life. It was just guys. Like, guy time. I don't even want to know what they did or what occurred on that trip. But he loved to tell the tale. Not all of them. Oh boy. It was one of the most fun nights I ever had as Rob said that that night we were above level 10. <laughs> now level 10 was the highest level but somehow we ended up going even further than that. Now don't ask me how because I can't tell you over here. All I can tell you is that that night we partied like a rock star. And don't forget that this was just day one. So do subscribe to the channel so you can see what else happened in the coming days. Never in my wildest imagination did I ever think he would go to such a redneck event like that. Cause he knows how people are around here. They're like redneck. And to like want to go to an event like that, it's just beyond me. There are a lot of things about me that she knows nothing about. And that crowd is where I belong. Oh boy, that's a scary thought. And guess but... what? In all those rednecks like me, I even met Willy Wonka. After the blasting bike week, next comes October and November, where we kind of stayed low because my bank account ran out of balance. Just kidding. I mean, it wasn't just that our bank balance went away. It was because that was Black Friday, Thanksgiving, that was Halloween season, Christmas, Christmas season coming forward. So that was our shopping time where I also went on a shopping spree of cameras. It's never ending, I'm telling you. You don't know my struggle. <laughs> I bought two cameras. One is with which, which we are recording, DJI Osmo Pocket 3. And another one is right over there, which is also right over here, Insta360 Ace Pro. Within a spam of just two, three weeks, I'll say. I'm not hearing words coming out of his mouth. All I'm hearing is cha-ching, 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 <laughs> dollar sign, more dollar sign. I'm going in debt, cha-ching, in the black. Anyways, now last comes December. Now, obviously the best part of December was Christmas, where we both got a lot of gifts but the year december ended on a bad note as same as it started early in 2023 early in 2023 i had an accident and now in december she was in an accident it truly came full circle but you know what it's okay i always see the bright side and everything and this bright side my friend i got a rental car not just any rental car let me tell you let me tell you let that's tell the you. worst kind of car i have ever seen in my driveway if it would be me i would Bulldozer run that ugly soccer mom car. I can't wait for that car to go away from my driveway. It's an ugly piece of thing. But I th but the good side, the bright side is that I don't think so that anyone will give us a bad eye because of that car. <laughs> and in a hindsight, that was our year 2023. The highlights, recap, whatever you want to say. But this was the best year of our lives. And from today, it's 1st January 2024, starting of the new year. Happy New Year to, to all of you out there. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and wait till next year, the end of next year will, a similar video like this will pop up saying that why 2024 was the best year of my life. But in between that, there will be shit ton of videos this year as this year we are gonna go way hard. So like this video, subscribe to the channel and I'll see you in the next. Until then, peace. Feel I'm in the mood for a switch up I hit the function, hit the rose right till I hiccup